Hello everyone, welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Zombieland Double Tap. I will be giving away the digital copy that comes with this. If you'd like to win it, just be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment below saying what your favorite part of this movie was. If you haven't seen the movie yet, you could just say you haven't seen the movie yet, and I will pick somebody at random two weeks from today. So I believe that would be February 4th. And uh, just make sure you include your Instagram username in your comment. That way I can send you a message with the code if you win. Um, I'm also doing the same thing for uh, Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, which also came out today. Um, I unboxed that on Friday, I think it was, or Saturday. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, this is Zombieland Double Tap. I actually saw this in theaters, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if I liked it more than the first Zombieland. The first Zombieland is kind of like a a cult classic nowadays you know it's only 10 years old but it's pretty much beloved by everybody um but this was a really good sequel i mean you know it introduced a lot of great new characters and you know expanded on the world and everything and did a very good job it was very entertaining um my favorite part of the movie was the uh i guess it was a mid credit scene involving a certain cameo i don't want to say it just in case you guys haven't seen it but uh yeah just a very very fun movie um so yeah, it was definitely worth a 10-year wait. I mean, I don't know what took so long, but uh, I don't know. I know they tried doing a Zombieland like, TV show for Amazon, and that totally failed or something. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad to have a sequel. But I don't know if they should like continue from this. I'm, I'm totally fine with it stopping here. Like I don't know if they're going to wait another 10 years to do one. That might be kind of hokey. I don't know. But um, yeah, I noticed too, uh, IMAX Enhanced. That's interesting. I guess it's going to be extra um <laughs> nice to look at so that's interesting extra probably i assume if you saw it in imax there was like at least they say so uh when you see a movie in imax you see more of the picture or something like that like there's more to look at uh so maybe there's i don't know like a wider image who knows what it is and immersive sound so i assume it has dolby um, it has Dolby Audio, but it doesn't have Dolby Vision or anything like that. I don't see it anywhere on here. So, yeah, it's it's IMAX, so it's different, I guess. It's sort of like, I guess, if you go to see a movie in Dolby or go to see it in IMAX, like whichever one you prefer. So this release is IMAX, so if you're an IMAX person, then I guess you'll like this. Um, I did see Terminator Dark Fate in Dolby, and that was... wow. Um, so... I think I prefer Dolby, just, I don't know, I have, I'd have to go see IMAX again, it's been a while. Um, but that's cool, though, that this movie, you know, the 4K, is gonna, you know, be enhanced like that. But anyways, here's the front with the two, and I didn't notice this until now, but the two features, locations from the movie in certain scenes, I guess. Like, there's a monster truck, there's a, I guess, Graceland, right? Elvis's place? Um... That place they go to, what's it called? Uh, I think it said on here, uh, Babylon, right there. And, uh, yeah, it's just some other locations. The White House. Don't want to give it away, but, yeah, it's very cool. A lot of cool detail in there. And then I really like the spine. Nice black and orange. And it's very similar to the other Steelbook that came out in October for the first Zombieland. Um, didn't like this Steelbook, though. It's very plain. But uh, this one's more promising. But, anyways, here they are, you know, side by side. Get an idea of what they look like. Slightly different, but still look nice next to each other. And uh, let's take the J card off. And again, if you want to pause and read anything here, get some nice features, bloopers, commentary. Ruben Fleischer, of course, came back to direct this. And the returning, you know, four main characters obviously all came back. All Oscar nominees. Uh, Emma Stone actually did win an Oscar. And you got some new additions in here, like Rosaria Dawson. And uh, she was actually a great character. I forget her name, but uh, she grows on you. You know what I mean? Uh, that guy was all right, I guess. I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, I really like this artwork. It's like a peace symbol. That's cool. But uh, yeah, these guys haven't lost a step. I mean, they <laughs> perfectly went back into the into this world. You know, you wouldn't think it's been 10 years. Um, anyways, that's what the digital thing looks like. And then on the back, it's just blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so... Okay, I actually haven't seen this artwork yet. That's interesting. It's like uh, the monster truck, and I guess that's the White House in the background on fire. That didn't really happen in the movie, but okay. So there's the black disc for the 4K, and then the blue disc for the Blu-ray. Nothing too fancy. But I, I do like Sony's um, artwork most of the time, so that's cool. 
the discs are always lacking now, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, very nice. I really like that. And it is like a uh, matte finish. Um, it's like a glossy matte. You know, sometimes when I do these steelbook videos, I say it's like a glossy matte. Some steelbooks are like a glossy matte. It's, it's very strange. I don't know. It's a matte, but it's a glossy matte. I can't describe it any other way. Is there like some sort of finish that's like the two of them combined that I don't know of? Um, I know I've said that a few times, a glossy matte. Um, but anyways, that's what it looks like all opened up like that. Um, definitely prefer this steelbook over the other one. I might actually open it up and show you guys. Let me do that real quick. Zombie Land 1. The inside is like, it's like the stupid pop art where the inside is just plain orange. It's like a shiny orange. Nothing going on in there. Yeah. But uh, the outside's okay. It's got Tallahassee. I don't know. The image isn't that great of a quality. And it's like, I don't know. It's kind of cheap. Kind of thrown together. I don't know. Definitely prefer this new one over the uh, first one. And, uh, yeah, this interior artwork, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, I mean, it looks awesome, but, yeah, I don't know. But uh, as far as the rating goes, I think I'll give this one a 9 out of 10, maybe. I really love the outside. I don't have any problems with the outside at all. Um, the inside's just kind of, I don't know. Because, like, I don't think anything like this occurred in the movie. I can't remember. It's not back in October, so it's been a little bit. Um... Yeah. Anyways, I think 9 out of 10 is fair. Uh, but that's it. That's Zombieland Double Tap. And I'm looking forward to checking out the uh, IMAX version, I guess. Because I saw it in, you know, standard. So that's going to be interesting. But um, that's about it. So thanks for watching this one. And stay tuned for more videos. That's it. Zombieland Double Tap. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.